What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's the King Koopa. Hope you guys are having a great day. So we're going to be putting a full sound system in our little turd street truck behind us. So I wasn't really planning on putting a sound system in, but we started tearing the interior part, which is all inside the bed right now. We're doing a leather bucket seat swap that's electric with a center console. And it's like, while we're there, we might as well. We started really paying attention to the sound system and it's pretty bad. I mean, pretty staticky and stuff. So we figured let's take all the junk stuff out, put some new stuff in, and give her a nice, clean, crisp sound to it. And we have a lot more videos to come, including a nitrous install. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, grab your popcorn. I hope you enjoy, and let's check out the new speakers. So here are the old door speakers and the rear pillar, B pillar speakers out of the truck. As you can see, these things are pretty tiny. Um, definitely the work truck model, but they are pretty busted. I mean... Definitely not trying to contact the aliens anymore with these things. So uh, we went to our local audio shop and we picked us up a set of 4x6s, the Kicker KS series. And we also picked us up a set of 6.5s, so these are the door speakers. Definitely a lot bigger than the old ones. So both these are the Kicker KS series. When I went to the shop I asked them basically the best clear, crystal, um, nice sounding speakers you guys have. And these are about the loudest I can run until I have to run an amplifier just for the speakers themselves. And later down the road, if I do want to run an amplifier, there is one that's built specifically for my head unit that will clip right on the back. So uh, no problem. But here are the new speakers. They have nice covers on them. Pretty fancy. I like them a lot. The rear pillar speakers. They also came with their little wire adapters, so let's get these installed. Don't need this old school trash anymore. We're getting everything unboxed. Here's our dash mounting kit. We have our antenna adapter. A couple AV cables. Here is the head unit itself. I like it nice and clean. There's not a lot of big bulky buttons and stuff on the side and it's super thin. So this is like an accessories harness. Right here you have the front output and the rear output if you are running an amplifier to your speakers. This one is for a subwoofer, and then next you have the rear view camera and the front view camera. Here's the regular harness that comes with the radio. This wire goes to the battery. Here is your ground. These two greens go to your rear left speaker. These two violet wires go to your rear right speaker. These white with white and black go to your front left speaker. Gray with gray and black go to your front right speaker. Blue one goes to your power antenna. This blue and white wire, the Remo, goes to your amplifier or equalizer. The red accessory wire goes for when you turn the key on. The yellow with the blue line wire goes to the parking brake. And this orange with the white wire goes to your reverse signal. And the last thing, we have our USB plug-in and our microphone for when you're Bluetooth talking. Here's our harness that connects to the stock radio. So the main orange thick one is our power wire. Black is the ground. Um, this other orange wire is the Radio Class 2 serial data. And this chunk of wires right here, we got the orange, yellow, tan, and light blues. All those right there will be connected to the speaker wires of our harness to the radio. After that, the last things we'll have to connect is our red accessory, the parking brake, and reverse signal. So you just got a little taste of the sound system. I can't even begin to describe how much louder it is, crisper, clean. 
I mean, that's so much better than the stock setup, like night and day difference thing was crazy because on the stock door speakers, you could reach down and listen and it just sounded like almost static. So it was pretty bad. Definitely a huge improvement. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I sat probably like the last 10 minutes in the truck, just listening to my favorite music and uh, I'm really excited. I'm happy. I'm ready to get this done and get on the road and just go do some cruising, but we still have a lot of work to do. So as of right now, it does not have a subwoofer in it. Um, I'm kind of looking at some pancake subs that have the pre-built in amplifier because I do not have a lot of room. We also got to fit a nitrous bottle inside the cab too. So we're running on limited options, maybe like a little eight inch pancake sub. Not really trying to go too crazy, but that's possibly down the line. And we did also pick us up some Dynamat. So we're going to be laying some Dynamat on the back cab, probably the ceiling, um, the floor and the doors. And that's going to definitely help out with the sound and keep the sound from escaping, keep it inside the cab. And it's hopefully going to help out with the road noise and my exhaust. Because now that I did all those performance mods, that exhaust is stupid loud. Like anywhere from, you know, zero to 50 miles an hour, it's just wanting to go. Like it's just, you know, it wants to be beat on so bad. And that exhaust is just obnoxiously loud especially since it comes right out here up the side all that sound is just echoing right through the back cab so that'll definitely be uh tomorrow's project but i hope you guys enjoy this video hope you guys enjoy following along with the build we still have a lot more to do a lot more videos to come this truck has came a long way it still has a long way to go i still have a lot more stuff that i want to do to it you might be able to peep over there we are doing also a custom headline or two but before I do go, I just want to say a quick shout out to my girl. Thank you for her, for her support and helping me out. My boy Scott, he's been over here a lot helping me out. Ripped the whole interior out, gutted it in a couple hours, so I'm definitely going to need his help here soon. And I'd also like to say thanks to my boy on Instagram, Fast53. He helped me out with a lot of information and answered basically all the questions I had because I am no audio master or electronics master, so that's definitely for sure. If you guys are interested in any of the equipment I bought, the link is in the description below. I'm going to play some more music from the truck so you guys can get a better experience, a couple different songs. So I'm about to go rock out. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys later. It sounds pretty good. I love it. I mean, it's there's no sub in it, but it's still it's got a pretty decent kick to it. I mean, it's way better than the uh, factory setup. That stuff was old and busted, but uh, I'm I'm actually pretty happy with it for 300 bucks for the head unit, 140 bucks in speakers. Uh, I think it definitely is uh, pretty clean, pretty crisp. But but you do know what my favorite sound is, right here. <laughs> Especially when you're getting on. Uh!